Hello, my name is Sue Hannon and I'm Assistant Principal at Furness College. Unfortunately, due to recent events, we can't get into school this week. So what we've decided to do is present you an assembly virtually so you can find out everything you need to know about the college. You'll be able to find out about both our campuses. You'll be able to ask questions this evening through the live Teams link you should have been given by your school now. And you can also look at our website, our Facebook and our Twitter to find out more information. I'm just going to hand over now to our school liaison officer to introduce herself. Hello everybody, my name's Sandra and I am the School Liaison and Events Officer at Furness College covering both campuses. My role is to make sure that you have the most up-to-date, impartial information, advice and guidance about what is available to you at both campuses. So if you have any questions at all, just log on to our Facebook and send us a message at any time that suits you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run through the different courses on offer at college. I'm going to give you some information that will help you with your decisions because it's a very important year as year 11. We know you've been out of school and working remotely for, for a period of time and it's very important that you use the time you've got this year to catch up, to get up to speed and get ready for your future. So we look forward to seeing you. Our college is a good college. We deliver high quality teaching and training. We've got high quality and partial careers advice and guidance and some really clever staff who know an awful lot about what could happen for your future. Our learners develop high level technical skills and our learners and apprentices enjoy their studies and support each other. If you come to college, you say yes to us and you come to college, you can gain higher level qualifications. You can progress to your chosen career. You can experience a more mature environment. You'll learn new skills. You'll study new subjects. You'll get prepared for your next steps and you'll take time to work out what suits you. If you're unsure about your future career options and you really don't know what you want to do, coming to college is a good idea because it gives you more time to work out what it is you need to do with your future. From next September, we've got some really exciting new qualifications called T-Levels. So I'm now going to explain a little bit to you about T-Levels because they're new and it's likely you won't know an awful lot about them. T-Levels are a brand new qualification and we're delighted at the college that we're delivering these from next September. They're a new qualification that's equivalent to three A-Levels. It includes an industry placement, and there's 80% classwork and 20% work. So if you have an idea of your career ambition, a T-level might be the thing for you. The technical qualifications, they've been designed by businesses and employers. We're delivering them for next September, as I've already said, and they are high level qualifications. We're doing T-levels in health, a T-level in science, T-level in education and childcare, and a T-level in digital. I'm now gonna tell you a little bit more about each of those. The T-Level Health course is, is a pathway called Supporting Healthcare. This is an ideal course for any young person who's thinking about going into the healthcare industry. If you're thinking adult nursing might be the option for you, then a T-Level in Health would be an absolutely fantastic route to take. The T-Level in Science is something really quite exciting. We do offer Science A-Levels and Applied Science, but this pathway is particularly Laboratory Science. So for those of you who really enjoy science and you enjoy the technical laboratory side of things and doing experiments, then that would be a course really suitable for you. Our T-Level in Education and Childcare is focusing on assisting teaching. So if you think you want to go and work in a school with a teacher or progress on to being a teacher, then a T-level in the pathway of assisting teaching would be an excellent idea for you. Our T-level digital, so digital skills are absolutely crucial. We've all learned even more about those in recent months. But the pathway of design and development is really exciting. It gives you an opportunity to specialise in the design of digital technology. Our entry requirements for these are at least five GCSEs at grades nine to four, including your English and maths. English and maths are an exit requirement of this qualification. You wouldn't achieve your T-level if you didn't have your English and maths by the end of the course. That's why we want you to have them to start with. Three of the GCSEs that you've got must be grade five or above. And if you're doing the health or science route or education and childcare route, your qualifications must include a grade four or above in science because there is some scientific content. Your industry placement is one of the most exciting things about this qualification. It's a 45 day or 315 hour industry placement with an employer that's relevant to your pathway. So we're working hard to get employers engaged so that we can provide you with some excellent opportunities out in the real world of work. 
Part of the course will include work preparation and employability skills that are built into the course to prepare you for that industry placement. You may have to interview and compete for a placement. The sought after employers are on board with T-levels and working with us. Now the other things we offer are things that you may know something about. I'm going to talk about each of our campuses now. So our first college campus at Channelside is your choice for vocational and technical courses. This is a state of the art campus. We've got incredible facilities. We have a college gym that you can be a member of for a really reasonable rate. And we've got lots of options at all levels from entry level right through to degree level. So you could start your education with us post 16 and you could carry on right through to a degree. If you chose to come to Channelside, you would choose one of these courses. It would be your main course, your vocational aim. We then add other things you might need to your study programme, such as maths and English. We also add independent learning to help you develop those skills ready for the next stage after college. So you can see here things that you may know about. You may have been to the college in, in, in the past and seen some of these facilities. So beauty therapy, business, catering sport, public services, motor vehicle. We've got a fantastic motor vehicle workshop with cars on that, that students work on live. We've got in media a green room where you can edit and make film and video. In hairdressing, we've got a fully serviced salon that members of the public come into. Obviously, due to recent events, we're not got public in now, but hopefully by the time you come to college, these things will be uh, changed. If you do hair and media makeup, you would practice um, putting things like skeleton makeup onto a student and do quite a lot of competition work and I've judged some of those competitions and the work in there is absolutely incredible. If you came to our sixth form campus that's your choice for A-levels and academic courses. It's a smaller campus, it's got specialist A-level teaching, excellent outcomes, our honours programme that some of you may know about and also a strong focus on progression planning. Our sixth form campus, you would choose three of these subjects. Now, there's many things on here that you will know because you've studied them at school and you may want to carry on with them. But equally, there are things here that you've not seen before. So you could do an A-level in psychology. You could do sociology. You could do A-level in chemistry, business, biology. We would help you combine those A-levels into an appropriate study programme to help you progress to the next stage of your um, career. If you choose to come to sixth form and you're an honours student, which means your average GCSE score is above seven, you would choose four subjects. You would choose either three A-levels in the EPQ or you could choose four A-levels. From September this year, we introduced Animal Management Level 3, which is a really exciting opportunity for you. It's delivered at our sixth form campus, but it's in partnership with Myerslagoff College, which you may have heard about through IAG at school. Your theory lessons in Barrow and a weekly day at Myerscoff for practical sessions. Our students go on a bus to Myerscoff every Friday and work in the environment down there with animals. From next September we hope to add an animal care level two into this as well. So if animals are your interest and you're really keen on that then get in touch and find out more. Our honours programme for our academically able students is thriving. This year we've got 55 students have joined our honours programme. These students are stretched and challenged. They're our highest performing students. They'll take that fourth A level or the EPQ. They get additional um, careers, education, information, advice and guidance. These are students that might want to go on to do medicine, veterinary or go to Oxbridge. You get mentoring support from college leaders. So I mentor a group of honours students and work with them throughout their time at college, as does our principal, our deputy principal and the other senior team. We also have a bespoke provision at CORE. CORE is based at College House. It's for learners who need small group and lots of support, who are perhaps not ready yet for the college environment, who might find moving into that big environment scary. There's a specialist team at CORE. They've got lots of experience of working with young people who have struggled in education. It's a very small environment and the programmes are tailor-made around employability skills, functional skills in English and maths. They do a lot of community work. So recently a group of our young people pre-pandemic and worked out with the local council and presented the area by painting it, decorating it um, and working with the council to refurbish the park. So lots of opportunities to do something hands-on and practical. One of the things I'm particularly proud of at the college is the pastoral care and support we provide to our learners. If you say yes to us, you'll get excellent support and help to progress. 
You'll be allocated a personal progress coach. Your personal progress coach is your go-to person. They'll help you with any queries, questions or problems. They'll support you if things get difficult. They'll talk to parents, they'll talk to teachers and they're your go-to person for help and support. We've got a brilliant inclusion team with specialist mentors and learning support assistants to help students who need that little bit of extra help. We've got qualified careers advisors who work full time at the college, so there's always access to good careers advice and guidance. We've got a very thorough and effective safeguarding provision. We look after our learners very well and we make sure that you're safe, cared for and well looked after. Our strong pastoral care is, is a real feature of the college. We also have college counsellors and we work with the educational mental health practitioner to support young people both in and out of college. One of the things that's quite important to some people is financial support. For some families, coming to college can be an expensive business. You could be entitled to a bursary. A bursary is a discretionary payment that comes to us through the government and it's based on your household income. You can use this for things like transport support, equip kit and equipment support. So for example, if you are doing construction and you need help to buy work boots and overalls for the workshop, then your bursary payment could help with that. You might be entitled to a participation allowance, which will be paid to you based on your attendance. And you may also be entitled to free college meals. You'd need your own bank account before you come to college. Our student services team have asked me to make sure you, if you need bursary, that you have a, a bank account before you come because it will speed up the payments we can make to you. We also have a hardship fund provided by Orsted that can be accessed if you have severe financial difficulties. You need to ask us, you need to speak to us and we may be able to help. One of the things that's absolutely crucial this year is English and maths. The reason I say this is that if you don't achieve at least a grade four in English and maths, you will need to resit. It's a government requirement. And the bad news is this, that if you resit it and you don't achieve your grade four in English and maths, then you'll have to do it again and again until you do get it. So my tip for you is to work as hard as you possibly can this year on all of your GCSEs but especially on English and maths to prevent yourself having to do it again, because it's no fun if you need to keep doing it. Having said that, we have a fantastic English and maths team that will support you to get these if it is a problem for you. And we offer a November reset opportunity. So if you achieve a grade three in November, we'll put you in for a reset so that you can try harder to get your grade four. If you've got any questions, you can check out our website, our Twitter and our Facebook. There's always something on there telling you what college life is about and giving information and advice. You can phone college and speak to student services. You can contact Sandra who introduced herself at the beginning of this presentation. She's our school li liaison and events officer. You can speak to your careers advisor or inspirer to find out more. To apply for college, you'll apply online. The application form can be found on our website at www.furnace.ac.uk. After you've had this presentation as a virtual assembly today, the Furness College Goes Live event carries on. There's an opportunity this evening between 4pm and 6pm for you and your parents to ask questions. A Teams link has been sent out to the school and has been, should have been given to you. Please see somebody at your school who deals with careers to find out more about that. If there's anything that you're unsure about, you want to know more about, you can just ring the college and ask the question and they'll put you through to the right person. For example, if you wanted to find out more about a construction course, you could ring and ask to speak to somebody in construction. We do hope that you apply to join us. We look forward to seeing you and meeting you in the future. Good luck with your year 11. Work hard and do your very best. Thank you very much for listening. Hi again, it's Sandra. This is just a reminder about the live Q&A that we're going to be doing between 4 and 6 p.m. As Sue has just said, we do have um, a link that we have sent out to your school and by clicking this link, you can book in so that we know that you're going to be online to talk to us. We'll have a panel of experts from across a lot of the subjects within the college and we'll have people there who can talk to you about other things such as support and also about any financial help that you need. Um, so please, please, please come and join us between 4 and 6 p.m. We can't wait to talk to you all and give you some uh, information about anything that you may have a problem with. OK, take care, guys. Bye.